everybody. In my last two episodes, I introduced how to configure your SPS production line and how to control your CO2. Today, you're going to see everything in reality. Let's go. Firstly, let's have a look at the raw material. Okay, you can see what they are using. This is 100% recycled GPPS. To be honest, it's not that bad. At least, it's better than my English. Okay? This is a white powder. It's from EPS Bluffs. Why they make it in powder? Because, you know, the EPS blocks, uh, some, sometimes they get it from the rubbish. It may carry some uh, small articles like small stone. When they make it in powder, okay, it has less bigger size. It has less bigger size uh, of the small articles which may block the machine. Okay. Let's go to have a look at the machine. From here, you can see uh, the whole picture, the whole picture of the raw material handling system. Okay, it, con it, it includes the vacuum loading system and the five components losing weight dosing system. The raw, raw material will be transported, will be transported from here to the top of the platform by vacuum. Okay. Uh, the vacuum loading system only load uh, PS pellets and PS powder. The small quantity additives like color mass batch and tuck the nucleation agent will be handled by the elevator because the quantity is very small. It's only sometimes it's less than one percent. This is the elevator. Now we come to the tandem extrusion system. Okay, the primary extruder is 95 millimeter diameter twin screw extruder, and uh, the secondary extruder is 250 millimeter diameter single screw extruder. The purpose of the primary extruder is to mix, melt the raw materials. Okay, now we, we can have a look at the raw material, uh, the, the dosing system. Okay, now the five different uh, raw materials can be dosed simultaneously. This is a blowing agent uh, dosing system. You can now, okay, well, uh, it was designed for three kinds of blowing agent. Now they only use CO2 and ethanol. The third one doesn't work right now. This is a small static mixer which will pre, pre mix the blowing agents before injection. This is a screen exchanger which can filter out the impurities the raw material may carry. Like, for example, small stone, something, because they use 100% recycled material. The purpose of the secondary extruder is for cooling. The temperature at the primary extruder is about 200 degrees, and at the end of the secondary extruder, it's only about 110. So it needs a very sufficient cooling system. Now let's look to the operation, the touch screen. Okay, please. Okay, if you know Chinese, you can see the HFC is zero, and the CO2 and the ethanol, they are working now. Okay, the CO2 is about 20. The ethanol is about 16 and 17. Okay. Let's have a look at the, this is a static mixer after the cooling extruder, you know, to mix the temperature uh, in radical direction, the static mixer will mix it again. Why they make it like this? Because the space of the factory is quite limited. So we have to make a turn here. This is a slot die. It's for 600 millimeters wide board. This is the calibrator and hall off. All downstream was designed for 1.2 meter wide board. Bye.
by the way, I have to say something about uh, uh, this ventilation system. You can see they put they put the ventilation fan on the top. Actually, it's wrong. It's a it's a bad example because all flammable flowing agents are heavier than air. So they ha they have to put it at the same level as the floor. So the the ventilation fan can drive out all the flammable gas. The blue room is to trim. Uh, it's for trimming machine and the surface treatment. Okay. Now you can see the edge of the board is round. After trimming, it will be flat. And the, there are some channels on the surface of the board. Why they make it? Because it can increase the adhesive strength of the board. It's very annoying. I don't want to go inside. Nobody can, nobody can stand in one minute. It's too noisy. It's uh, obviously it's harmful. This is a double knife cutting system, which can cut boards in two pieces at the same time. Because the, the, this line can yield up to 1,000 kilograms per hour. If you use single knife. It will be not enough. This is also another edge trimming system which can trim the edge of the board uh, like uh, shape lap and tying groove. They don't use it right now. If they use it in the future, you also have to make a soundproof room. This is a stacker which stack the boards one by one. Okay? Now let's pick one board to check the density. Now you can see the channels on the board. Okay, now it's 12.9. 12.9, let's see the thickness. Okay, the thickness is okay, 61, 61, 62. Okay, we can see the table. We can see the table. Okay, the density is 30. It's very good. Well, now let's have a look at the blown agent storage area. The white vertical tank is for CO2, it's a CO2 tank, it's about 20 cubic meters, okay? Uh, the stainless steel one is for ethanol, and uh, the white horizontal one is for HFC, 152A plus 134A, okay? Now let's go to the pumping, pumping system. Okay, this small tank is also for CO2, we call it a uh, middle tank. Uh, it can store it's about 300 liters CO2 and this is a level indicator. There's a number on the on, on this indicator. Okay, uh, okay. The, the level could be, you know, after some time uh, they co consume the CO2, the level will get less. And uh, for example, if we set it at 50, when the level is less than 50, the boost pump will start automatically. When it's more than 80, or we can set it at 90, it will stop. Okay, the blue pump, uh, it's for CO2, and uh, this one, it's for HFC. You can see now the pressure is zero. That means it doesn't work right now. 
and this is for Asno. You can see the pressure. Okay, it's it's, it's 1.6. Okay, that means now they are only using CO2 and the Asno. Okay, now you know everything about CO2 foam, and uh, still, if you have any questions, please contact us. Thank you.